Rejoice Ministries Greetings in the most precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today we are going to see an important topic as we are all in lockdown. Are we locked down for Jesus? That's the question. Now during this time of plague and coronavirus, all of us are in lockdown and it is for one beautiful reason for our safety and protection. In the Bible, in the Old Testament, we, we see that a lot of lockdowns have happened, especially during the time of Abraham, during the time of Noah and also Jonah. In the New Testament, uh, also, it wasn't a lockdown, but a lockup. Soon after Jesus was crucified and when he was uh, resurrected that same Sunday, the, the, all the disciples were inside a house. In fear, they locked up the house and they were all in fear. So we read this in John chapter 20 uh, verses from 19 onwards. John chapter 20 verse 19. That Sunday evening the disciples were meeting behind locked doors because they were afraid of the Jewish leaders. Now why were they afraid? Because uh, they might also receive a terrible death like Jesus crucified on the cross. Uh, suddenly Jesus was standing there among them. Peace be with you, he said. And as he spoke, he showed them the wounds in his hands and his side. They were filled with joy when they saw the Lord. Again he said, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I am sending you. Then he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sins, they are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. So here, the first thing that Jesus does is he comes into the closed doors, the locked up doors and says, Peace be unto you. And when they hear the voice of Jesus, the very next moment, from fear, joy comes into their heart. They were all so frightened. But Jesus says, Peace unto you. That same moment, joy sets into their hearts. Now today the world needs peace of God. Everybody is in panic attacks, uh, are in depression, are in anxiety and terrible worries about their future, about their life uh, next after coronavirus. After this lockdown release, what is going to be my life like? Uh, that is what many of them in, in, the, in the US uh, when I was uh, just going through a few uh, newspaper and uh, news cuttings, I just found out that uh, many people have died of fear and anxiety than of covid-19 uh, when they even when uh, in the ambulance when a, when a patient was just taken in for covid positive when he is just taken into an ambulance even before he he could be uh, uh, admitted in the hospital he was found dead even inside the ambulance he has died it wasn't of covid-19 it was of fear it was of anxiety, it was of depression. So these are mental tortures, these are mental problems which can, uh, which can attack anybody. So we, as ministers of God, we find that this is highly satanic. It is nothing but satanic powers on people that the whole world is now under panic and under depression. So but to this uh, crowd of people, to this world, God has one word to say, the peace that he can surely give us. In John 14, 27, Jesus says, I am, I'm not giving peace as the world gives. I'm giving my own peace. So God's that divine peace, when it settles into your heart, that is the greatest moment in your life when you will enjoy and you will be another person. Hallelujah. So this is the peace which Jesus wants to give. Now what is the peace that the world would give? It would be just temporary. Uh, it would uh, maybe, uh, maybe a drunkard thinks that only if I drink I get uh, a peace of mind. 
and uh, somebody else would think okay let me see some films or uh, some uh, go to theaters okay or everything is locked down and let me see some films even on phone then maybe i will get some peace of mind uh, people may try different things of the world but surely it will never be a permanent stuff now how about the peace that jesus gives us is it is it permanent we can maintain it we can have this peace permanently in our life if we give heed to the word of god if we listen to jesus christ whatever he wants us to do maybe we can meditate maybe we can sing songs maybe we can read the bible maybe we can pray so many things we can do we can worship we can speak in tongues we can do anything that god has mentioned in the bible which to maintain the peace that jesus has given us we are able to contain this peace and we are able to follow jesus every minute and that's the reason we are full of joy the moment we were started lockdown we started praise and worship online and in our group 120 people and their families around 20 people join Uh, on Skype every day 6 to 7 and we don't pray but we only praise and worship because there is more power in praise so the whole world is praying of course the other times we pray but we have this peace of god and every time we have this praise and worship all the ones who are joining keep saying lord ma'am we we have we enjoy the peace of god we enjoy uh, celebrating the name of jesus and we are all happy in the lord though the whole world is really suffering we pray for them we intercede for them and surely this corona is going to quit this universe thank you jesus once a missionary was sent into a, an island uh, where the tribals over there were all cannibals that is they will eat the flesh of a human being so when this missionary was sent to that uh, particular tribal area he refused to go he told god no i'm not going because i'll be the first person to be their prey to be their victimized and i will be killed and they will eat my flesh and how can you send me to such a place as this but the lord kept on speaking i will be with you so you need not have to worry you just go to this place so this uh, missionary he he followed the word of god and he went to this tribal area the moment he stepped in they sniffed human flesh and they came behind him they caught him and they took him to the to their uh, high priest and over there you uh, they, uh, he found a man uh, a hefty big fellow and he was wanting to eat his flesh so this poor missionary was uh, praying within him that uh, that this is what he expected and it is happening but to those people he was showing actions that his body would not uh, taste good at all that it would be bitter it would be uh, very resentful not uh, not nice at all so uh, when 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 the the head the chief of these tribals watched him say all these in actions he knew that something is wrong with him so he commanded that his left leg alone be cut off and they would taste only that leg for the moment and if it uh, uh, tasted good maybe they would go for the next leg and other parts of the body in the days to come so when the left leg was uh, cut and he was allowed to hop and go into a uh, a cave and they shut the cave he was put on lock up um so he was locked down fine and this uh, pastor this missionary inside uh, the cave he was praying he was praising god uh, we don't know like what really happened these people out here outside who were trying to eat that leg that left leg of that pastor they they found all their teeth falling and they couldn't bite it because it wasn't a fleshy leg it was a leg made of wood so they had cut down the wooden leg of this pastor and they were trying to eat and they they lost their teeth and they thought it is god who has sent this man and it is he is god himself the tribals thought so whereas out here this pastor was just crying out to god and and um, and uh, he was thanking him thanking god for having sent him into that cave into that place into that lock up uh, because he knew now for what reason he lost his left leg in a in a scooter accident 3 years back so he was thanking god lord if only they had cut my right leg i would have no life at all i would have become a prey for these uh, tribals but you made them cut the left leg 
that is a wooden leg which was attached to my leg because I lost my left leg during this accident. Now I understand Lord as why you allowed that accident in my life so that today I will serve these people. And as he was thanking God and he was praying, the, the, they opened the cave and they all fell flat, fell prostrate in front of this missionary and uh, they thought that he is God himself when he had to explain everything in action and show the picture of Jesus and show so many other things to these, uh, these tribals and all of them became Christians and that was God's plan that this missionary should be sent to this tribal area to get them uh, to know about Christ Jesus as Lord and Savior. Jesus is Savior. He can save you at any time. Whether coronavirus is a disease which you have undergone or not, you will be safeguarded by Christ Jesus. So let us be very happy in the Lord that peace is there for us. Peace is sanctioned for us. We can retain peace, we can maintain peace, till our death we can have peace of God if we are to follow the word of God. Let us follow everything that he has taught us in the Bible and let us be peaceful and pray for the people who have no peace. Thank you Jesus for this wonderful time. I would love to praise you and worship you and thank you Lord for this great peace that you have given to us. Lord, we are locked down. We are locked down for Jesus. We are, our families are all together in this lockdown and we are all worshipping you, praising you. And this peace comes and settles into every family, Father. Lord, we thank you, Father. We thank you and praise you for all the goodness and mercy is following us. No coronavirus can follow us. Only Jesus' goodness and Jesus' mercy and Jesus' peace of mind will follow us. In the holy and mighty name of Jesus, we pray that all those people who are suffering outside, they receive the peace of Jesus forever. Thank you, Father. In the holy and mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and Amen. Nelu, English Tholadukkulla, Rejoice Ministries, Evangelist Dr. Daphne Joseph, Cell 9171100011. Kattadame, Ungal Overvarayam Asilvaitthu Kaparaga. Amen. Joy Creative Production For video coverage and editing, audio recording and editing, promo for advertisement, graphic design. Contact 9042494996.